Hello there SpyBot users and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team SpyBot and in today's tutorial we'll be using SpyBot's file scan. Let's get started with today's tutorial. The file scan allows you to scan specific files and folders. This can be useful if you want to scan a specific file or a group of files or a group of folders without having to perform a full system scan. You can also use this to scan external drives. There are two ways to use SpyBot's file scan tool. The first is to right click on a file or folder, then go to SpyBot search and destroy, then select scan file. Select yes when the user account control prompt appears, then the file scan will open. The file will then be queued for scanning and should complete in a few seconds. If the file is clean, a green tick will appear beside the file entry. You can use the same method to scan an entire folder as well. Right click on the desired folder, then go to the SpyBot submenu, then click on Scan Folder. The folder will be added to the queue and the contained files will be scanned. If the file is identified as a threat or is infected, a red X will appear beside the file. Click the Remove Malware button to clean the file and remove the infection. A green tick should appear beside the cleaned file and it will appear in the Removed section of the File Scan window. For the second method of using the file scan, open SpyBot by right clicking on the SpyBot Start Center desktop icon then choose Run as Administrator to open SpyBot with Administrator Privileges. Select Yes when prompted by the user account control, then wait for the file scan to load. Once SpyBot is loaded, click on Show Details in the bottom right corner. The file scan icon will appear in the Basic Tools section of the Details Start Center. Click on the file scan icon to open it. The file scan will load in another window. Click on Add Files to begin adding files for scanning, or you can click on Add Folder in the left hand menu to add full folders for scanning. Select the desired folder, then click OK. The contained files will then be queued for scanning. A green tick will again appear beside each entry to show that the file is clean. Once you have finished scanning files, you can save a log file of the file scan results by clicking on Save Log. Enter a name for the log file, then select the desired location to store the log file, then click on Save. And that's it for today's video on using SpyBot's file scan. I'd like to thank you all for watching and hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any comments or queries, please get in touch by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page in the support center on our website. I've been Rob from Team Spybot. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe, keep on searching, keep on destroying. See you guys soon.